How's it going everybody? Andy McCullough from the Los Angeles Times here with Dylan Hernandez and Bill Plaschke, also of the Los Angeles Times. We are here at Dodger Stadium where the Dodgers continue their demolition of the hapless Atlanta Braves in the first round of the playoffs. And Bill, did you know that Clayton Kershaw had the longest postseason outing of his career tonight? I knew it when you leaned over and told me in the uh, eighth inning. So thank you for that, Andy. I, yeah, no, thank Pedro Mora, our former colleague from the Athletic, for pointing that out because that blew my mind. Eight innings was as long as he's ever gone. This was the most tumultuous, turmoil-filled start of his postseason career in 20 starts, and it was his best. I mean, Clayton Kershaw was unbelievable tonight. Two hits, eight innings, and, and he did it with only three strikeouts, no walks. He's a kind of a different kind of pitcher, but for him to do it under condition, remember, he was pushed back to this spot in controversy earlier this week. He wasn't happy about it. Tonight, he went out there and told the Dodgers, as I said in my story, take that. What other ways do you think they could like degrade him to make him to motivate him, right? Like give Walker Bueller his jersey number, right. give, give yeah. Puig his locker. Yeah. Would you have written that, Dylan? You, yeah, you probably would have. Yeah. yeah. Introduce like Bueller to Koufax or something like that. Right. Like, this yeah. is no, no, no. This is the new yeah. guy. Yeah. Like, no. it, yeah. it, it, it's, it's amazing. It was, yeah, I mean, he, he was very good tonight. Um, he, you know, the Braves are a super impatient team. Uh, they swing more than any other team in the National League. And, you know, they really capitalize that. You know, the lack of strikeouts, I think, is a little problematic. But we will see that, you know, how that plays when he faces more elite competition. The Braves are not elite competition. Uh, but Manny Machado had a pretty big hit tonight, eh, Dylan? Well, that's a hell of a transition. Dude, there. I'm really good at this, if you couldn't already tell. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of why they got him, I guess, right? I mean, it's, I mean, it's honestly. I can't wait to read this column. Yeah, this <laughs> Boy, he's got me running for the newspaper. You know, the uh, one thing, I'll, well, I'll say this. That's not writing, that's typing. You know, <laughs> I'll, I'll say this, right, is that, you know, you, you talk to a lot of visiting players, coaches, whatever, managers that come here, and they talk about the crowd and the effect that the crowd has. You know, the one thing that you kind of have to do is take the crowd out of the game early. And Machado kind of did the opposite thing, right? He got that crowd alive. Uh, you know, and he kind of talked about that too, kind of knowing the situation. Jock Peterson's there, third base. You know, he worked the count 3-0. Um, Are you not, surprised he swung on 3-0? I mean, I've seen him play, so no. Okay. <laughs> the thing about Machado, though, is that like Just once asking, or, pretty you, much bite my head off. Pretty much every game. <laughs> <laughs> Once or twice, Machado does something that is just so physically impressive. And that yeah. swing on 3-0, that was a good pitch for Manuel Sanchez. A great pitch, as Machado, <laughs> Machado himself said. <laughs> great pitch. A great pitch. But no, it was a 3-0 cutter away. It caught enough of the plate to entice him into a swing. He had to lean into the bucket and get it. And he still was able to hit a... a and he a, lined that thing. I mean, yeah, I, I, mean, I, didn't, I, didn't, see the, I didn't see the exit velo, but I mean, yeah. that thing went on a that, On a, a pitch a he shouldn't be swinging yeah. at. It was, it was really impressive. So the question now is... What do they do with Kershaw and Ryu? It looks like they're going to clinch this series. That The Braves can't score. They can't win. They got no shot. It's over with. So what do you happens in the NLCS? Who starts game one of the NLCS? I think it'll be Clayton Kershaw and Walker Buehler will pitch game two because they will be playing in Milwaukee and they'll be on the road and Ryu will be set up for game three and game seven back at home. So in that scenario, all th you know, three of those guys will get three stars because I think it'll take seven games to be. I agree. He showed he's the ace tonight. I thought this was a good move putting more Ryu than first. What? More than Bueller. More than yes, more than Bueller because he's done this tonight. I think he proved to the Dodgers. He reminded them who he was, and I think he'll start Game One. What do you think, Dylan? Yeah, and most importantly, he reminded Mark Walter of who he was. I mean, the, <laughs> oh. I mean, when when he took that comebacker off the back of the leg and threw the guy out at first base. I mean, the first guy jumping out of his seat was Mark Walter. Because Mark Walter is a guy who can give him the big contract yes. if he opts out during the, the offseason. Yeah, and he's coming off the field. Mark Walter jumped in front of him and hugged him, and I'm sure they'll be hugging in the offseason yeah. when he extends wow, his contract. That's, that's by great Dylan, say more account. stuff that I did not get in my column. Thank you, Dylan. For it's really field. great that we have his insight here. <laughs> insight like, here. Yeah, you know, Where only, were you upstairs? If only he was sitting near you and yeah. can offer these great thoughts. He was sitting next to me and he told me and I still didn't put it in the paper. Yeah. So, well, yeah. you can read some of this great insight <laughs> in the pages of the Los Angeles Times and at latimes.com backslash Dodgers. Thanks for watching. We will be back. Uh, we might do a video from game three. They're going to win. It's not going to be that interesting. We'll talk to you at the NLCS. Have a good one. <laughs>